now comes the matter of the preservation of the steam locomotive. This is of particular interest to Mr. Ian Allen, publisher of the world's largest number of books on railways. Mr. Allen, how did you start in the field of transport? Well, I suppose I've always been a bit of a railway enthusiast, right from the earliest days. And my um, ambition had always been to go on the Southern Railway, which I uh, ultimately did, and landed myself in the Public Relations Department. And uh, being, I think, the only person in the department who had any interest or even, I think, knowledge of locomotives, uh, it landed to my lot to answer all the inquiries we had for details of locomotive names, numbers, dimensions that came in from the public. And uh, eventually, um, to save myself the work, I suppose, I suggested that uh, we should produce a book, or the, the Southern Railway Company should produce a book listing the names and numbers of its locomotives so that we could sell them to the public. Well, the uh, railway point of view was that uh, their job was to run railways, not publish books. So I asked whether they had any objection to my producing it on my own account, and they um, had no objection. And so uh, I produced the first book, which was a modest 16-page uh, affair, which sold at one shilling. And um, from that first edition of 2,000 copies, we've... Uh, sold quite a few million books subsequently. Could I ask you, Mr. Allen, how do you see the future of the steam locomotive in this country now that it has disappeared off British Rail? Well, there are still um, several steam locomotives which can be seen operating. Um, one or two branch lines have been preserved. The Dark Valley, for instance, between Totnes and uh, Buttressley and the Cheetham and Worth Valley, and of course the Bluebell Railway, where steam locomotives are operating trains. In fact, um, I don't think anything that steam locomotives will ever be allowed to operate any of those railways. Um, apart from that, there are quite a number of uh, express locomotives which have been preserved privately. Uh, at the moment, only 4473 Flying Scotsman is allowed to operate on um, British Railways, but uh, it is hoped that in due course the ban, which prohibits the other privately owned locomotives from working, will be lifted, and then there will probably be half a dozen uh, which will show the light. Uh, and the